volumetric fog has seen a nice upgrade in Unreal Engine 4.18 using the new volumetric light mapping setup. 4.18 introduces our volumetric light map setup, which you can see here, which allows colors to better map out in our world, our darks and our lights and our colors by sampling better instead of just on top of certain 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 surfaces at certain distances. The end result is we get better color results. The side effect of that is volumetric fog and static lighting can now intermingle and we get the effects inside of our fog. And this is a basic result. Now let me show you this scene in 4.17 as best as I can approximate it. This is the same scene. Now there's a couple major differences. Each of these lights has their own individual settings. So if we find it right here for volumetric scattering, and that is what determines how much light is going to be end up coming uh, out that we can see. So for example, you can see how much blue lights there. We can see how much white lights there, and we actually see no light here. Now we see no light here in our fog because emissive lights are not going to contribute at all and we can't adjust that setting. Well, let's go ahead and run over here and we look like we're going through some fog. We look like we're going through some colors. You know, it's not that bad, but we do have a small issue. So let's profile the GPU and we'll go ahead and check out a few things. So we're going to go to their scene, sort by duration. And we're going to look for our big offenders. And we're going to care about the volumetric fog and the lights. Volumetric fog, approximately 0.4 milliseconds. Lights, approximately 0.25 milliseconds. And that's for this basic scene here. Now let's go to our 4.18 example. Let's go over here. We'll hit play again. We're again, we're approximating our fog. We've got some lights. You'll notice on our emissive light over there, well, we actually have some light. It's affecting our fog just like our spotlight above us and the little blue point light. We'll go ahead and profile a GPU from here. And we'll look at our setup. So sort, whoop, open up scene, sort by duration. And we'll look, here's volumetric fog, 0.45, compared to the older version of 4.17. Well, let's snap this to the top, of 0.42, so pretty close. And then we'll look at our lights, which is, where is it at? Oh, it's all the way down here at zero. Well, of course it's at zero. We're using static lighting. Static lighting has no light cost. If we compare that to here, we can find our lights is at 0.25. So that's one of the biggest advantages. The approximation for volumetric light mapping used in 4.17 with the indirect lighting cache, the older system, basically affected it per light and made it had to be on a stationary light. So it had a cost. If we were to switch these over to static right now, you're going to find them disappearing. So let's look at it in 4.18. Again, volumetric scattering intensity on the point light, on a stationary light. That's what determines what it looks like. If we were to switch this over to static and build, we would lose all that information. 4.18. We'll go ahead and look at that same light again. And we'll click on it. And we'll notice a few things. First of all, this is now disabled. Again, if you remember, I mentioned if we were to build this in as static, the light would disable itself and shut itself off for the volumetric scattering. Now in 4.18, they basically let you know. They say, hey, this is disabled. This will not affect this light because it's static. If we switch it over to stationary, you'll see it now glows and it would affect it. We'll go back to static. I'm probably going to have to rebuild here, which is fine. We'll show you what happens when we rebuild. But I'll show you the direct setting for this. So now that we have that light as static, we have our cube, which is our emissive light. It's set to static. And then we'll go with our spotlight here. It's set to static. Again, disabled. All of these are controlled through our exponential height fog. Our exponential height fog affects everything right here with the static lighting scattering intensity. And this is what determines basically how strong the scattering is for all of the lights, all the static lights, sorry, as they're baked in. Let me drop this down to, oh, I don't know, zero. And we'll go ahead and build this out. And hopefully you'll see exactly what you'd expect. Even though we're using the new system, even though we have better lighting samples, and we are using the new static lighting inside the fog instead of on the light itself, we've set the intensity to zero.
By setting the intensity of zero, we basically disabled all of the scattering inside of our exponential fog, and any static lighting should now basically not affect our static fog, static fog, volumetric fog at all. So this should be done any time now. There we go. And there's our result. We get nothing. We get nothing because we are now not scattering at all for all of our lights. And if we were to adjust this, you can see here, we're going to get what we'd roughly affect. If I bump this to 10, it's going to be really foggy. We're going to have to build this out again if we want to see the final result. But this is how you use the new system. It's controlled by the exponential height fog on the static lighting scattering intensity option. Lights no longer control that individual setting. Where'd it go? Right here. Assuming they're set to static. And you need to make sure you're using the new volumetric light map setup so that way you have that data put into your light map. 